Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. We're continuing our trip through the list of nominees for Best of the Fest at the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival going on September 21st, Des Plaines, Illinois. Check it out. Now, these two films are on opposite ends of the spectrum as far as production value, quality, and visuals, okay? We're going to start off with the good one. We're going to start off with Entree. Okay, now, Entree is written and directed by Tiago Inacio, and it's a foreign film and basically tells us the story of Simone, a very seductive female who has is basically a demon and she's a demoness in this a very seductive form and she uh, lures men and then she does nasty things to him after seducing him but she is then called back to the fold if you will back to the house of her origins to give another demoness a chance to go out into the world and her to go back uh, with the other demons in waiting. and But she doesn't quite like that, and so she challenges Dr. Orloff, who is kind of running the show. She, she challenges this rule. Ah, oh, wow, this film surprised me, and not only its production value, but its originality and story, and uh, just how good it was. It was produced really well. This definitely didn't have an independent film feel. It really looked like something that could have been a larger, wide-release type film. It had that good of a quality, from the lighting to the special effects. And then there's the story. It's a rather interesting and intriguing story. Now, we don't explore too much into this, uh, the mythology and stuff that they came up with because it is a short film so you don't have a whole lot of time but what we are given does intrigue me and makes me wish almost that they could expand it to a full film and you've got all your elements in here you look for for a decent horror film you got your blood you got a decent story you got kind of creepy scenes going on and you even got some nudity in there so you got a little bit of everything in this film well produced well shot and the acting as well we watched i watched the subtitle version uh, and that's when it's going to be playing at the festival and it's great because then you get the true vocal performances by the actors as well always watch it with subtitles just to get that true performance out because the dubbing never does it justice. So Entree, definitely a solid film and a great production package for this little short uh, film from overseas. Now, one that is closer to home in the USA, Mummy AD 1993, directed and written and pretty much everything by David The Rock Nelson. And this really, really, really low budget shot on VHS back in 1993 film tells us the story of a guy who raises a mummy and then sends that mummy out to people he doesn't like to kill him. That's basically it. Okay, now... This film doesn't make any apologies and nor does it make any mystery that it thinks that it's a better production of film than it is. Okay, it's it's bad, badly shot. Uh, the editing is poor in it as well. Uh, the acting is nominal. I mean, the, the guy raising the mummy is entertaining and the mummy himself was decent, but wow, is this kind of rough to watch, you know? I mean, it really looked like someone just was trying to shoot their family video and decided to make a mummy movie while they were shooting their family video. So, you, you know, it's that low of quality. Now, I will say that the mummy makeup looked really good, and I didn't know that the Egyptians event invented duct tape. Did you know that? I didn't either until I saw the back of the mummy's costume where there was some duct tape holding this costume together. So, so, you know, they invented the pyramids, uh, they, you know, did the hieroglyphics, and they invented duct tape. And I, so I learned that from Mummy AD 1993. I poke fun at it, folks. It, I give them props for trying to make a, feature, uh, a short film, uh, to be sure, but there are some basic filmmaking steps that are just ignored in this, and I'm not quite sure how it made the best of fest uh, list. But it did. It's there along with Entree and a list of other great films. Uh, we only got a couple more to cover. I appreciate you sticking to get around and listening to me talk to about some of these best of fest. And if you're in Des Plaines, Illinois, September 21st, check out Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival. Should be a lot of fun. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stub.